Hello. Here we are over in the beginning of the store. And uh, as you can see, there's almost no small drawers available. I have one down here that's got half a drawer empty. Um, I just put uh, the two Olafs that I'm keeping in there. Uh, I've got larger drawers available, and there's more than are just pulled out as well, because if I've never used them, I've probably never pulled them out. Like over here, there's not many, but on the next side, there is more where I have uh, never pulled them out. And over here, you'll notice there's not a single small drawer the whole way down that's pulled out or turned around. Uh, but then over here, you see there's far fewer drawers pulled out that are large. But then if we come down here, these bottom three rows are empty and those bottom three rows are empty and so on down there. And there's probably even more higher up, like these are empty and these are empty. So I have lots of space, but I have lots of space for larger quantities of things. Now, there are still some stuff up here that can move into uh, a large drawer. I just have to find them. Uh, so I'm going to go through and look at all the different parts, uh, use a step stool and look into the drawers, pull them out, and see what stuff I can move down. However, uh, I'm also going to part out another set, and I'm probably going to do that first. Um, and we've got that over here, and it's the new Space Rover uh right here the 60432 set and there's a sticker sheet in there as well uh i have three copies of this that i got while we were away and shipped them back to myself each of these bags is half the set so one two three copies of the set so i'm going to sort the bags and start working on stuff um i probably will not part the entire set out before i put stuff away uh, like I've been doing recently, I use these trays here, which are actually just the lids to the uh, minifigure boxes. So I still have three more down there that I can pull if I need them. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing that. That system seems to work pretty well. Uh, but, yeah, that is what I am up to at this point. Uh, had uh, a quick impromptu visit from a couple of friends. They had just gotten a new car. And so they stopped by and I took a look at it quick and we just kind of hung out and chatted for a little while. But now I'm back to it. I also had some dinner, so I'm ready to go for a little while longer. As always, thank you very much. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Hello. So I have completely uh, sorted out the first bag from the set that I'm working on parting out. Plus, there's another bag that just had the wheels right here. And then those white pieces there, those big white pieces. So there was basically eight wheels and one white piece in each of those bags. I did those as well. Instructions and sticker sheets are right here. And uh, these are all the parts that I'm going about to put away from bag one. Plus those other two bags. Or the other two parts from the one bag. Um, these two parts, there are more of coming. So we have to wait on. But the rest of them, they were done. And these are all the minifigure parts here so far. Uh, and this one, I believe, is to an alien. All lime green there in color. So we got those set aside too. There's actually uh, two aliens per set, it appears. So that is what I'm going to get up to at this point. Uh, I have to just plug my thumb drive in, pull it up, and then start getting stuff put away. Now a lot of this is probably going to be new lots. It's probably going to require a lot of juggling around in the store. And if I find that I'm doing a lot of that, I may pause and then start looking for drawers that I can shift around to. So... This is going to be an interesting little thing. We'll see how we come with that because there's a lot of parts because I'm only doing three copies of the set where there are three parts. And so, you know, two by two brick, you know, it's going to fit in half a small drawer. There's no need to give it anything larger. So I'm not really sure how it's all going to come out. We'll see. But uh, I'm hopeful that it won't be horrible. It probably will be, though. <laughs> uh, some interesting parts. So we've got uh, a medium lavender carrot, which I thought was different. Uh, I also don't remember seeing this one down here, a uh, two by two slope in a uh, trans purple. That was pretty cool. Uh, also not sure this one has been around before, these one by two by five bricks in the trans purple. So those are cool. And this is even possibly a new piece, and new to me at least. Well, the piece isn't new, but this color is. If I can get one out, they're very difficult to hold on to. It is this little pyramid piece. Let's see if I can... Yeah, that's not too bad in the trans dark pink uh, i'm actually missing two of it 
uh, very surprising and it was in the small bag inside bag one so there's not really a lot of opportunity that it like got stuck in another piece because it was only with other small pieces so I'm pretty sure I'm just missing the two of them which is that's a first for me out of three sets I'm missing two that that's pretty high percentage so my guess is they were both from the same set that it was missing so I may end up with some piece in a later bag that is uh, extra we will see but anyway, that is what I'm up to at this point, and we'll come back when we get uh, some progress on this, and we'll see if we get stuck or not. Thank you very much. Hello. So I got put away all the parts that already existed in the store, and there was quite a lot of them. Uh, and I didn't have to move anything around. I actually, I take that back. I also put away two parts that didn't exist in the store already. Uh, I put away the big wheels right here in this drawer. And then those large white parts ended up in this drawer down here. I got plenty of room for the larger parts and large drawers, so that's not a problem. But really what it comes down to is all these other parts, for the most part, are uh, smaller parts in smaller quantities. Now this one, I can probably find a home for too. And actually, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and put this in the same drawer as that white part. Because they should both live in there pretty easily without any trouble at all. So yeah, that's going to be bh156 and i'll add that in but the rest of these um i'm going to put aside i'm probably on the table over here and keep going with the next bag uh i, I know that there's not more of these pieces coming but i'm just going to put off that uh, problem until later uh mainly because i'd like to just get a little more head work done with doing this stuff and it'll give me also an idea when i'm done how many parts i need to make room for which could be important so that is what we got going on right now. And as you can see, I've got the file right up there on Brick's, uh, Brick Store. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to continue on with that. And uh, it's not even all that late yet today. I'm making great progress. I already parted out the ones that completely working on this one. I don't think I'm going to finish this one today, but we're going to get as far as we can. Anyway, thank you very much. Hello. So yeah, it's a... Uh... Not all that much longer since I made my last little clip. I pulled an order. It had some instruction books in it. So it ends up being this large package here. Uh, I reused something that was a uh, Lego packaging. It's like these are the envelopes that uh, instruction books come in. And these are from that uh, large space set that I'm working on right now. And one of these instruction books they ordered would actually had three different books fit in there nicely and then the other instructions they ordered went in there and then there was a few parts and we put those in there as well so that worked out pretty well um this is an order that just came in uh we've got these two here uh the cowardly lion and this little metal those are used and these two micro figures are new so we're going to get those out but also i just filmed a short and this is going to go up as soon as i can get it up but apparently they are doing a D, &D themed series of minifigures in september um, this information is coming from the D and D Beyond website, where they were talking about the the new idea set that's coming out and what they're doing with that. There's going to be an actual play that was live recorded that they're going to release on April sixth, I think it is. Uh, that looks like it could be fun. It was recorded right at the Lego house, and it looks like the table actually was made. The top was made out of Lego, and they used the pieces, and it was really cool. And so, yeah, all sorts of fun stuff coming with that. And so, yeah, I wanted to get that short out because I know there's been some rumors, but I think that's the first point we've actually gotten some confirmation. So in any case, uh, as always, thank you very much. Hello. It is later on Wednesday night, and I had another order come in. Uh, this one I got ready to go, and it is that box right there. Uh, and that is 42 of the large uh, black Technic bases uh, for their art stuff. Uh, and so that was a really nice order to have come in. Uh, I've also since found out uh, that the leak, or not a leak, but the scoop that I thought I might have had for the D&D minifigures was not, in fact. Apparently it was uh, talked about on uh, Lego's own releases or website or something like that, but I hadn't seen it. So I went ahead and posted uh, what I thought was the first mention of it, but it's certainly one of the earlier mentions in any case. Uh, so be that as it may, uh, I'm still in the middle of putting away parts. Uh, I've got uh, the cart ready to go. I've got some more parts that I'm going to put away. And then these are, again, parts that don't exist in inventory yet. So I'm waiting to do those at the end, and I'll go through and, and create locations for those. But right now, I'm just putting away stuff that already exists in the inventory because it's a little easier. Uh, and I think that's bag three. I think I still have... No, no, actually, it was bag four. Uh, so it looks like I have bags five and six down there because there's two different totes. 
uh, and there was two sub bags in the last couple, so there's probably going to be a couple of sub bags. I also went to Target, and I picked up more of these. Um, I picked up uh, ten more packs of four, and uh, two, four, six, I have eight left. Uh, but, I mean, a bunch of them are going to get, you know, unused here, but as these sit here waiting to get put away, that's what the issue is. Uh, but I don't mind having more. I do need them. Uh, I'll make use of them. But that's all I have for the moment. We'll come back a little bit later. Um, we'll see if any more orders come in. But at the moment, that's what I got. Thank you. Hello. It is about 3.30 in the afternoon on Thursday. And Ben is expected at around 4 or so. But I wanted to get some video in of stuff that happened late last night and since then today. Uh, over here, I've got all the parts from those three copies of this new space set here to 60432 i got the instructions and sticker sheet there these are all the parts that didn't already exist in my inventory and obviously this new color i have very few in it there was one that i had from the small space set that i was able to add to it but all the rest of these lots of parts that are new to me like these these four are the new trans black piece and i really see why it's trans black it's almost like a, a, a steel gray it's kind of cool i like that uh there's also these strange angled pieces to me that i've never seen before those are all new to me uh and then additional pieces over here uh we're going to be parting out all the minifigures but the little alien guys we're going to keep whole this is just those three pieces and it's worth more as a whole than it is with the pieces although it's funny because the plant looking piece in there that thing uh, i'm pretty sure i have as a regular piece they need to get put away. Yep, there's, there was a few more in the set right there. So that'll get put away separately. Um, so yeah, and so then, but here's the thing. is like, I already put away parts and I've already been moving parts around a little bit to make room. And so that was for the stuff that already existed in the store. Uh, I was moving stuff around because, you know, uh, as uh, I was trying to put a piece away and it was not going to fit. Uh, so what I did today, now the small drawers on the used sides, both... There was maybe one or two that had a little bit of space. So I went through today with the step stool and I went through and I looked at every single small drawer and drawers that were full enough to move to a half of a large drawer. Or there's a few that I found that were half empty and actually one that I found was completely empty. It was pushed in. I'm not really sure how that happened. Uh, so we fixed that. And then anything that had one or two of the piece in it or a piece in it was pulled forward as well. So now we're gonna have a lot more room. As you can see, there's a whole heck of a lot of drawers on this side that are now pulled out. Um, and so, yeah, we're gonna have, it's gonna take some time to actually get this space because in a lot of cases, like in this case, that piece needs to move. The little turkey, it's basically full, it's a full drawer. Uh, Many figures in here, it's just a little fuller than I'd want it to be. Uh, now, there was plenty of cases where there was uh, two halves that were both pretty full, but I'm not dealing with that at this point. Uh, because basically, if I was going to move a half, it should go to a full small drawer, and I don't want to use up more of those. So, we're, we're ignoring those for the time being. And so, yeah, all of these drawers. And then even on the next side over here, lots and lots and lots of drawers. Now, I also have to go through and find pieces that are missing. At some point soon, uh, all these got missing from a part out, uh, so I have to find those. Uh, basically, I had moved them or changed their location, I believe, and then it didn't get saved. And so, yeah, I did not upload these pieces yet. I have a separate file with these, and I need to find them. And so that's probably going to be a task for very soon. I don't want to go too long. I, it wasn't so bad when it's like two or three pieces down here, but this is like... 40 pieces or more um but yeah so as you can see all the way down through here just all sorts of space all sorts of drawers just there'll be plenty of room to put stuff away and a lot of these actually are half empty uh just i found a lot of stuff that didn't uh and there's also a number of cases where the drawer had one piece in it without a divider but that piece could be shoved back into the back so i was able to add a lot of dividers like this one those like uh jail doors as i'll call it i'll pull one out here so you can see it i'm gonna do it one-handed though so these here um they were in one drawer and i could i basically just slid them to the back half and then put a divider in so i did that a lot too so there is actually a lot of 
half drawers that are available at this point. I might be all actually put away pieces, but I do have to worry about finding those other pieces as well. So I'm not really sure the best way to do that. I know most of those pieces that I need to find are in this section. Some, I believe, are in the, the front side. But, um, however, that's not the only news I have. So just as I was getting ready to place the order, I was checking a couple of things, and I have another order that just came in, and it is now the most pieces I've ever sold in a single order. And I was pretty excited about that. It's right here. 10,000 of that one-by-one one round black plate. That's it. That's all they bought, 10,000 of them. 3.2 cents a piece, $320. So yeah, that's uh, that's a welcome order right there. And I will be able to uh, get that packed up pretty easily. Anyway, uh, that is all I have at the moment. Uh, like I said, Ben should be here relatively soon. And I'm going to try to get to the post office today with that 10,000 piece order because it should be really easy. I mean, let's go take a look. It's in AADB13. And it only leaves me with, I don't know, four or five thousand of that piece i don't remember it i'm sure you can scroll back in the video and see because i don't recall db 13 it's going to be down here and here it is uh and then there's some over here as well so most of these are probably going to be going away but that's great because 586 if i had uh 20 of those or a little bit less that'll be all but we'll have to do some math to figure it out but that's all right and then, of course, I've got a few loose ones because I'll probably have to include some loose ones. I doubt I'm going to get it to the exact amount. There's also some bags that have 895 in them. So, geez, I'd need uh, 12 or 13 of those. No, probably more than that. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that is what I'm up to at this point. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And we'll probably have some video later on, probably after Ben leaves. But maybe we'll do some during as well. As, you, as always, thank you very much. Hello. And this is the order pulled. Uh, four bags of 895 pieces. And one, two, three, five bags of 596. And five bags of 586. One bag of 485. And 25 loose ones. So I really only had to count out 25 pieces for a 10,000 piece order. I'd consider that a win. Um, However, I need to find a box to put it in. So I was looking at uh, all the boxes that I have available, and I tried one, and it wasn't going to work, and I need something bigger. And then I saw one of the boxes that was up in my pile of boxes. It was over there. Can I know where the Jeep is? Uh, I said, maybe we'll try, give that one a try. My phone is slipping a little bit in the holder. Because I got the neck mount on, because I'm going to open this box right here, see what's in it, and see if perhaps this box will fit these pieces. So let's see what we have in here now. Do we have a date on this box? Uh, nope. I either pulled it off or it wasn't already there. But suffice it to say, it's probably been there for two years. A year and a half at least. Oh, we've got a packing slip. So this might give me a date. Uh, let's see. So this was the Goodwill Online from Racine, Wisconsin. And, oh yeah. So, uh, it looks like I bought this March 28th of 22, so not quite two years. It's pretty close. It's pretty close, like a week off. And this is a cool item, since I know what it is. <laughs> this is an ExoForce set. Um, let's see if we can get into this easily. Boy, they really tape this up good. But that's, you know, I appreciate that to a certain extent. As long as the tape didn't get to the box, we're good. knife we'll just get that little cut there get this started the nice thing is with this tape and this particular bubble wrap is that it's coming off pretty easily which means i might be able to just reuse the bubble wrap at some point perhaps even with this order although probably not all right uh, a little piece there of masking tape do we have more? Yeah, there's a little bit more. All right, we'll toss that aside for the time being. And they've got it in a big Ziploc. That's kind of cool. I'll hold that. And here it is. It's uh, still sealed. Uh, well, yeah, the flap is in 
coming off kind of condition because it's like an extra flap. So the idea would be, let me put this down, that this top thing would be glued and then you could lift the flap up. Sort of like the older sets used to have the, the lifting flap. They kind of brought that back, I guess. And this has a Kmart price of $15.99 on it. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't pay $15.99. I probably paid a bit more than that. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, I paid $46 for this, but it does appear to be sealed. So other than this, you know, the damage to the box, the box is otherwise in really nice shape. Um, so it's just that glue that's not really sticking well on that top flap. But that's pretty cool. So we will put that over. I have another XO4 set that's sealed as well. Uh, it's actually down here in the basement. I just don't know that we're going to be able to see it or get to it. It's uh, in here somewhere. There it is. Okay, I can kind of see it back there. It's right above that blue Minecraft set. You can see where it says XO4. I can see where it says XO4. So I'm going to take the neck mount off and hold the camera up a little closer. See if it's visible back there. Hopefully you can see it. So I got now two sealed XO4 sets. So that's kind of cool. I'll show that to Ben when he gets here in a little while. And uh, so yeah, that's what we're up to at this point. We're going to see if we can get the rest of this stuff in that box. And then that box will just go right out the door. Because I'm going to take stuff to the post office probably shortly after Ben gets here. Anyway, as always, thank you very much. Hello. So I'm in my living room. I'm about to go to the post office. And I, I just realized it's kind of amusing. This box here has 42 pieces in it that were a little over $300. And this box here has 10,000 pieces in it, which were a little over $300. So same value, quite a number of different pieces, although both of them one piece, one lot. So yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. So there. Anyway, thank you. Hello. So it is uh, later now on uh, Thursday night, and Ben has just left. Uh, got a lot done. Took care of the, got those, uh, the dots packaged up and sent out. You saw that in the previous clip with the boxes up in the living room. Um, over here, we don't have nearly as many containers of Lego over here because we've been putting stuff away. All those are put away containers and these are the only ones that are left. And the only reason they're here is because I ran out of uh, immediately empty drawers or half drawers rather. Uh, so there's still a lot of drawers that are open and there's more over here, but none of the ones that are open currently have no pieces in them or no pieces in half. There's at least a piece in them. So I need to take time to uh, condense those or in some cases like with this one is pretty full. We're going to move that to a regular half drawer of a, a large drawer. So we need to take care of that before I can put more pieces away. So, but that's beyond what I'm going to get done tonight. Um, ben did get more figures put away and a couple other things as well uh, that he just uploaded with some figures. So we're full up on figures again. And uh, then uh, he was also working on something else over here. We'll go take a look. Around the corner. And uh, he's basically been going through accessories and creating a file to upload accessories. And so we have all these trays of accessories ready to go up. Uh, so all sorts of different things like swords, printed tiles, uh, other weapons like these Ninjago staves. Um, and the standout item, single best item, is over here. This is a Ninjago Time Stone or something he called it. And uh, I think that was like $3. Um, however, there was other stuff that was really good just because of the quantity. Um, and that's really in this bottom one over here. We've got lots and lots of Star Wars blasters. I think this one there's 186 of, he said. And they're like 30, 35 cents a piece, something like that on average. So that's a pretty good price. Uh, I can't wait to get those in the store. Hopefully they'll start to fly out here. But, uh, I mean, it's lots of weapons, but there's some packs here and some ingots over here. Um, the other thing that's kind of interesting is this nozzle piece in white is not common. Uh, it was in, I think, two sets. And one of them was the um, uh, Women of uh, Science or something like that. I forget what exactly it was. But, yeah, so that's kind of an uncommon piece. I would have thought it was more common than that, but it's not. 
Uh, I'm assuming here we've got a mold variant here of those two different guns. Might have to ask him about that. But yeah, just shields in here, a bunch of katanas and stuff, other bladed type things, just all sorts of neat stuff. Oh, I think I'll have to talk about this. I think I have one of these in my inventory already. It was from a store that I bought. So we might be able to add that to what's already there. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited about this. It's like closing in on $400, I think, $370. Maybe it was only $270. I don't recall it offhand. But yeah, it, it'll certainly help the store out a lot. Uh, he took some orange colored pieces to work on a uh, uh, build that he's working on for a collaborative display at Brick Universe. So that'll be interesting to see what he can come up with all those pieces. But yeah, otherwise, we are just continuing on. I did have somebody else stop by. Uh, they picked up an order they placed. They also wanted to rifle through some of my uh, unlisted stuff to find some parts they needed that I just didn't have in the store yet. And they found some of that. And they said, you know, is there something I can help you out with for a little while? So basically, they did a little bit of sorting of the one by brick for me. They actually did uh, one entire laundry bag worth. So that's always a bonus. There's a couple of additional containers down here now. So if it doesn't look a lot different here, it is. Uh, and they did find a couple of interesting things here, like this basil brick. And it's funny because the area that's printed is actually recessed a little bit. So you can actually feel... The difference between it and this is the first one that he ran on into Genova although this one is not recessed so that's kind of interesting but then there's uh, parts like this that actually have printing on them that's kind of cool uh, so yeah all sorts of stuff in here and of course this is also where the non one by brick goes so here's one that's too tall that kind of thing but lots of stickered and printed pieces in here that one's a sticker. Uh, Non-Lego. And then just rejects. Dirty or broken. So, anyway. That is what we're up to at this point. Uh, I'm actually going to just call it a night. Gather my water up. Make sure everything is shut down the way I want it. And I'm going to go upstairs and relax. But, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Thank you. Hello. It is Friday afternoon. Uh, early evening, perhaps. And i uh, got some stuff going on. Uh, I had somebody over earlier, and we basically finished off all the kits that the lug is going to be selling. Uh, we got all those created. Uh, we are missing three parts from one kit to have them all set, and we'll be able to get those very easily. Uh, he then came down and did some sorting of some of the Technic parts, because that's what he's been working on. So a lot of these Technic containers are bigger. And then we pulled over the last, the, the big tote that had the large selection of pieces, not just the one that has... The small pieces in it which are over here this is there is some larger pieces in here uh, but uh, he's been working on the other tote at the moment uh, or maybe he dumped that one into the, I'm not sure what he did hundred percent but I think I don't think he dumped it I could be wrong um, a couple of things too is I forgot to mention so I had been missing a whole bunch of parts and I think I'd shown the list it was up here in paper up there and there's another piece of paper there now uh, but it was 38 parts I think I counted uh, and I was missing them and I knew where they were approximately they were down this aisle on this side here so after I'd gone through and done this and pulled out the drawers that were pretty full or had one or two pieces in them uh, I then went through all of those searching for those parts and I found all but two uh, and those two are the ones that I printed out on this slip which they're much bigger and they're easier to read so we're missing that one bracket piece there in uh, light bluish gray. There are 10 of those. And then that modified plate with the clip. We're missing 12 of those in red. Uh, and it's I did find some of those, but they have it's a different version. The, the ones I have uh, aren't the open O. I think it's the U, and it's got a slot in the bottom of the clip area. So it's a different piece. Uh, I also found one of the other pieces down here that was missing. Now, this one's used, so it wasn't where I was looking. Uh, this one was new. I did not track that down. Um, and I may never, because I think that might be just a counting error, perhaps. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, so we're down to like three or four parts missing that I know of in the inventory. Uh, and let's see. Uh, so, yeah, I went through and did all that. So now, now I am working on, and I'm starting at the beginning of the store, and I'm walking around because the cart's in the way. Uh, I'm going through and moving parts. So you'll notice in this first section, 
all these drawers are turned around because I, what I did is I pulled them. They were drawers that were full and moved them down into halves of the large drawers. So that's what we're about to do here. I've got this part here. I'm about to see if I can get that uh, in a drawer, in half that drawer rather, uh, and start moving some of these other parts down. Uh, and I'm just going to continue doing that. It's a little time consuming, but I think it's worthwhile. Uh, when I get done with that, I will probably put the parts away. And I actually may pause and get the parts put away sooner because then they can sell. Um, but on top of that, uh, I have all the drawers that have... Oh, look, there's only two. There's two leg pieces in this drawer. I was like, well, do I really want just two pieces in that drawer? And in some cases, it's actually just one. In this case, there's two hair pieces in this particular drawer here. There's another one in there. Um, or here. Here. There is one piece. The printed tile. I only have the one. There it is. So I'm going to combine all of these onesie twosies uh, into a few large drawers. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dedicate these middle two columns, this one and this one, because they're right in the middle. And I think the bottom eight drawers are probably empty on both of them, it looks like. And actually, the bottom 12 on both sides are, are empty. And I might just dedicate all those drawers to being onesie twosie drawers. And so I will pull them out and then go around and start adding parts to the different drawers. And I'm doing it that way. Um, I'll probably pull a bunch of drawers out because I don't want to have similar parts in the same drawer still if I can avoid it. So I want to have a number of different drawers so that I can start putting parts that are similar but different in different drawers so that it's still not a problem when I go to pull them. But that's kind of what I got going on at the moment. Um, I can't think of anything else at the moment that's going on. Um, I'm going to cut it here. And we'll have some sort of video content later, probably at, either as I start to put away those parts from the set part out, or maybe when I'm done with it, we will see. As always, thank you very much, and if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Hello. So it is a little bit later in the evening on uh, Friday, and I've gotten all the parts from that part out that I did, that uh, rover put away. Um, I moved some drawers around over here as I mentioned and now pretty much all I have in this first row are drawers that are open that have one piece. Now this one's especially heinous because you can't get a divider in there with a ladder so it's really a whole drawer that's getting taken up so we'll move that at some point to a larger drawer like I was talking about. But that's all that's left in this first one so a lot most of the pieces that we just put away from that set are in here. A few of them are in here as well. Um, but I still have a lot more moving of stuff to do in this and then the rest. So I'm going to pause and get the uh, parts uploaded into the store so they're in the store. I actually do have two orders at the moment, um, but I'm going to work on those uh, after I get the parts uploaded. Uh, and then uh, we'll probably continue working on this. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, I'm not sure what the next little project is going to be, but we will get to it. And uh, we will see you in the next little clip probably sometime later tonight. Thank you. Hello. It is late on Saturday. Uh, I just did some gaming, although it was board gaming online as opposed to my, the role playing. And uh, I did some stuff today. So we're going to go look at the first thing I did over here. Uh, we're down this aisle over here. Got the cart here. And I'm mean, going through and swapping out drawers. So as you can see in these first two here, I've got drawers that are, or at least these two here, there's drawers that are turned around. These are empty now. There's no more in this one because I used them to put away the uh, set uh, that I was, had parted out. And I finished this column, uh, swapping stuff out, and now I'm going to be doing this one. So I'm also going through and I'm condensing these drawers if they can be condensed. Like over here, I probably wouldn't condense that. Um... <laughs> Don't know if I'll find a good example or not, but sometimes I'll find, in, find a large drawer that has a part in it that it can go in half a large drawer, like right here. This will get a divider, easily a divider in there. Uh, and then I might even put something in it because I've got parts up here that are going to move down because the drawers are full enough. And then the rest of these are drawers that only have one or two parts in them. So we're going to continue doing that. Um, and then uh, just as we were finishing up gaming, I kind of started another little project over here which i finished and um we had some trouble with the the heads the heads are in a box like the minifigures here 
uh, and they were flopping over. And actually, this one is turned. It's not supposed to be. That was illustrating that we could turn them sideways. Um, and these are the heads now. And what I've done is I've basically cut out cardboard boxes from Lego boxes, put cards in them, so they stand up much better now. The problem I've run into is all of these heads were originally in this drawer, and it's full, this column. And there's a couple that are pretty full, but most of them are only the card, the bag, and like one head thick, because basically you can do this. You can just make them as thick as just the heads. So it's just the cards that are basically adding extra thickness. So, I mean, there are 27. I think 30 might be pushing it even. Uh, because there's only like two in here, I think, that are too big. So 27, 20, 29, maybe I'd get a 30th one in. We're, we're not really sure. Uh, so I've got the rest of what was in the first drawer here. And this drawer was never that full. It, although, oddly enough, it has 34. So I'm not really sure what's going on. And it has a couple that are big, too. So, yeah, I'll have to figure that out. There's something going on here. There might be more in here that I think are condensed better that they're just not scrunched like they could be so we'll see because there's 27 there and there's actually 34 there so yeah we'll see uh but yeah that's the project for that and so they they stand up much nicer now uh, i like that a lot better uh we're ben and i talked about this we're probably going to start another h box uh h2 which we have the stickers for already so just and i have a box so it's just setting it up and then what we'll do is to fill it up we may move some of these out of H1 and just renumber them and keep these bags in case we ever use them in a different place. Um, and then since H2 won't be that full, we're probably going to start pulling heads out of inventory. And what I think I'll do is for these, like this one was so full, I didn't even put a card in it. Um, for this, it'll go back to a drawer. But for all the heads that are, you know, small quantity relatively that are like in half a drawer and still not taking up a lot of space, they'll come back to these boxes. So this, this is probably half of a small drawer, uh, and it would fill it quite nicely. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, just trying to maximize space. Uh, so after I go through the entire new section for the drawers and swap out drawers, which is not a super time-consuming process, but it takes a bit of time. So I've got all these to do, and then I've got, you know, half of these over here or more, because I'm only at, I've only finished the first three columns, so I still have five columns here. Um, so that's 13 columns total. When I'm done with all that, I will go back through, and that's when I'm going to pull all the onesie twosies. And as I said previously, I think I'm just going to pull uh, 8, 12, 16 of these drawers through these last, these two middle units here at the bottom because they're empty. And I'll put them on the cart and I'll just start adding parts to them. Um, by having multiple drawers there, I can kind of ensure that we don't have similar parts in the same drawer because that's just a pain. But that's what I'm up to. Uh, I do have five orders to pick at this point, but it's Saturday and nothing moves on Sunday. So I will deal with that tomorrow so it can go out on Monday. Uh, and that is all I have for tonight. Uh, I'm going to continue working on some stuff, but for the time being, that is it. As always, thank you very much. Questions and comments down below. We'll see you in the next little clip. Hello. So it is Sunday afternoon and I've been working on pulling orders. And I had seven to pull and we pulled them all at the same time and there was enough of them that we pulled out the letters again so this top one is a new and used b new and used uh and then c which was all used they got uh, a number of minifigs uh one of the dimensions discs and then that batman large panel that's got the print or the sticker in there um <laughs> it was order d which was all new and interestingly enough all of these parts the heads the uh Transparent clear, they're basically helmet piece, visor pieces, and those white, uh, they I believe they call those uh, uh, mud guards or something like that. Uh, they all came from that new set that I parted out, so those are in demand. Uh, and then E, they ordered two figures, so those are both used. Uh, F, this was all new parts. This is actually somebody in the lug. They ordered a couple of the different uh, grenade pieces, uh, a black pin with a plate on the other side and then some of those battle droid heads and then order g again just these three parts they were new and they were from that new set that i parted out that space set so yeah if i could find more of those i might actually part out more of those because it looks like some of those parts are popular uh, i actually think some of them may have been in some of these other ones as well but not as commonly 
And then also B ordered some figures back there. A couple of doctors and some Octane people and one kid with the winter hat on. Uh, but yeah, we got all this stuff ready to go out. Well, not quite ready, but it's going to get gone out very shortly. We'll package it all up and then we'll probably come back and show off all the packages. That's it. Thank you very much. Hello. So we're not quite done packing yet. I'm working on B and we're going backwards. So we just have B and A left to do. But this is exactly why I double check stuff. These are the two figures I pulled. And they were in Z1, C2, 1 and Z1, C2, 2. And they were both supposed to be doctor figures and they're very similar. So I was like, they look similar and I just kind of went on. But when I was double checking, I realized they weren't the right figures and they weren't even close really. Uh, both of them were supposed to have hair. Both of them were, had different he uh, head pieces. One had a stethoscope. It was just wrong. So I went looking and sure enough, these were in Z1, uh, C1, 1 and Z1, C1, 2. And that's where they should have been. I just pulled the wrong two. So it was just random that the first two figures in the second column of Z1 were similar as is the, the two figures that were in the first column of Z1, uh, of Z. So got those fixed. These are going to get put back away. But yeah, that's one of the reasons why we double check stuff is to make sure everything is right. Uh, especially with the figures. You know, it's, it's so critical that that gets done. It's one of the reasons people come to the store, I'm sure. So anyway, but we're working on the rest of the stuff and we're getting through the double check. I just got a couple more figures to double check and I kind of expect those to be all right. And we'll just go from there. But that's just a little update. And then once we're done with that one, we just have A to, to pack up and, and check. So that's it. As always, thank you. Hello. Well, it's a couple hours later and I've got all my orders packed up. Uh, there was one that was local. I mentioned that. And so that's just separate. And then the rest of them are right here. I got them all in the same size package now. A couple of these are just like one ounce, and then this one goes up to, I think it was seven ounces. So not all that bad, really. Um, and they're going all sorts of different places, but that's all right. We'll get those off into the mail tomorrow, and so people will probably start getting them on Wednesday, would be my guess, judging from where some of them are going. Uh, I am about to go back with the cart into the section and start working on moving drawer stuff contents around again, doing more of that. And that is about all I've got to tell at this point. Um, tomorrow is the steering committee meeting for the lugs. I'll be going to that. And so I'll probably take some video uh, sometime tomorrow, but probably after I get back from that, uh, depending upon if I have orders earlier in the day or not that I can take to the post office. I'll probably wait to go to the post office until I can find out for sure if uh, more stuff is going or not. But that's all I have for at the moment. So thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next little clip. Hello. So I was going to start working on condensing the drawers and whatnot. I have not gotten to that yet. Um, decided we needed to go out and get a couple of things from the store. So I ran out and did that. And uh, while I was out, lightning seems to have struck again. Same Walmart had restocked this. They had two. Still 1950. So I bought both of them. Uh, so that brings me up to five. Although somebody in my lug wanted one. So I have four to part out. I'm not sure where I put the other. There's the other two right there. Um, so I'm going to probably get to that as soon as I can, although I might wait in case I get more. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, now I've got a couple orders too to pull and pack. So I'm going to do that and then we'll get to the drawer swapping. Um, perhaps at this rate, I won't get to it today. We'll see. But in any case, that is my plan going forward for the night. And we'll be back once I've pulled stuff so you can kind of see what is going out. Thank you. Hello. So it's just a couple of minutes after I recorded the last bit. It only took me, well, under four minutes to pull this. The timer's still going because I haven't gone past that screen. But uh, this order ordered three minifigures, the better condition coffin, and that one two by two printed tile. And the other order ordered four minifigures. Uh, two Exporians, a Roboforce, and this guy is, I think, one of the castle-ish type guys. I don't remember which one it is. Actually, he's right here. I can just scroll down a little bit. Uh, Wolfpack. So yeah, that's the two orders. So this will be pretty easy to package up. We're going to take care of that. And then we'll move on to the business of swapping drawers around. Anyway, that's it. Thank you. Hello. So we're over here by the store area. And the reason for that is I finished my project of reassigning drawers. Uh, and it's funny because my battery is almost completely gone. It's probably got like a couple of percent left. 
it says oh, 11 percent. that's not too bad uh, but as you can see there's a, still a lot of drawers pulled out but that's because all the onesie twosie pieces are still there uh plus all the drawers that are now empty they got turned around now there are some that are pulled out that have half full uh that you know have one part in the back but nothing in the front but most of it is either two parts in the front one or two parts in the front compartment or completely empty uh and then we did the same thing we went through all the bottom drawers you know, I pulled out some that were empty and then basically a lot more down there were empty. I didn't pull them all out because it would just be horrible. Um, but I pulled a few out, uh, usually right at the end of where they're full. Uh, and then I went through and also I added dividers to stuff. Like this one already had a divider. I didn't mess with it. But there was quite a number of cases where there was a part that, you know, was in a full drawer, full large drawer. And it could fit in half and I squished it over and put a divider in. And in some cases I added parts to that, in some cases it just stayed. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. And then the other side over here, the new side, is pretty much the same story. Lots and lots of drawers. So I have plenty of room now to do some stuff, which is great. It's exactly what I need to do. Uh, and you can see that down here, like, I'm pretty sure this was a piece that was in the one whole drawer. I just scooched them over and then there was nothing else to put there because I'd already condensed uh, and some of these drawers, like the beginning wall here, there was a lot more that had to move down. And then the second wall, there was less. And I guess that makes some sense because this is stuff that went onto the wall later. So it has had less time to have more parts added to it. Although not completely the case. And now I'm now just seeing, here's another part that could have gotten down further. And I'll probably put it in this drawer right here because there's half a drawer right there. Uh, so I'll take care of that in a minute or two. Uh, but yeah, so we're pretty much done with that. Uh, I got another sale while I was doing all this, so I'm going to go take care of that. Uh, and then I'm not sure what I'm up to next. Uh, we may do another part out of something. I'm just not sure what. I mean, I've got the additional copies right down there of the small space mech. That I've already done once, so I could do that again. Uh, I've also got the four copies now of the Technic um, recycling truck, which is right there. Um, and I could do that, but on both of those counts, I'm wondering... Are more going to show up at that price? So I might just wait. Uh, I don't want to do work twice. And I've already done the mech once. I mean, I did five copies of it, so it wasn't horrible. But I'm going to wait and see if uh, more of them show up. So I'm probably going to look at something that I've had for a little while longer uh, before I do that. I've also got the six copies of the 3-in-1 Main Street. And I'm holding off on that because there's still a few more out there in the wild at the same price and i'm just like yeah maybe they'll drop the price some more and that would make, you know, make everything cheaper overall so we'll see how that goes uh, but yeah we're gonna need to pull that order and get that ready and then we'll get into something else i'm just not sure what i'm also not sure if i showed the last couple of orders that came in uh it was mainly just minifigure stuff i can't remember at this point if i did or not i'm losing track but anyway that's what we got going on and we'll see you in the next little clip thank you I'm back again. Uh, I didn't even bother using the, the mount. I'm just going to take a quick video here. So the new order that came in, they ordered four of these leg pieces. Um, black at the bottom, white at the top. That is it. That's all they ordered. So we'll get that shipped out to them. They'll probably get that, uh, well, I don't know where they live. We'll see. Yeah, far enough that it might be Thursday. Who knows? But we'll get those ready to go out tomorrow. And so, uh, yeah. Uh, and I was also realizing I have these sets here. So there is a Sonic set in there and a couple other sets that those could also be options to part out. So we will see. As always, thank you. Hello. So I got that short little order of four leg pieces shipped out. Uh, I watched a video talking about Lego uh, and their business model and that sort of thing. And I'm actually going to put a link in the description for that video. Or at least I hope I remember to put the link in the description. Um, but uh, in the time I watched that and did a couple other things, I have two more orders to go pick. So, and one of them is pretty easy. The other one is going to take me a little bit of time. It's got a few pieces. It's not a lot of money. It's just a lot of, you know, this, that, and the other couple of small piece type things. So we'll get those taken care of. We're going to go start pulling that in just a couple of minutes. And we'll come back and show you what people have purchased. Thank you. Hello. So we just went and pulled all the parts. I did have a little bit of trouble finding this one. Uh, I had moved it at one point because it had shrunk in quantity that I had and it never got moved, but I did find it pretty quickly. Uh, so we got that fixed in the inventory. 
Uh, so this is the, all the parts that the first person bought. Uh, lots of used, some new. And then this is what the second person bought. They bought 10 of this road base plate. That's it. Just 10 of those. So we will take care of these two orders. It shouldn't be too hard to take care of these. And then uh, we're not sure what we're going to do. It's a little after midnight now, so I might actually be calling it a night soon. So we'll see. But as always, thank you. Hello. It is early afternoon on Monday. And with the steering committee meeting tonight, I actually have another order that just came in earlier today from somebody in the steering committee. So I have to pull that order, try to get it to them tonight. But it's a big order. It's like 3,700 parts. So we're going to start working on that. And then if any other orders come in, we'll probably work on those as well. I'll probably head to the post office right before the meeting. So we'll just see how this goes. I'll come back with uh, an update once I've pulled the order. Thank you. Hello. So it is just after 1 p.m. Uh, it's only been about 20 minutes since the last video. I've not started picking the order yet because it has not shown up in Brick Freedom as of yet. Uh, it's just not showing up yet. Uh, there's usually a delay. And apparently since I'm not syncing between Brick Owl and uh, Brick Link, there may be uh, a further delay. So we're waiting on that. I much prefer picking from... Uh, Brick Freedom then on BrickLink, although I can get it uh, on BrickLink uh, to give me checkboxes and stuff. I just prefer the Brick Freedom interface. It's a little quicker for me, I think. Uh, and maybe it's just a personal preference. I don't know. Anyway, so I grabbed a set that I'm going to part out. I looked at a couple of things and I decided on this one here. Just the Friends Donut Shop. I picked it up on clearance for five bucks. Uh, I have six copies, so not a huge thing. It's a four plus set, so there's less pieces. So this should be a pretty easy one to bang out relatively quickly. Even if I don't get it uh, uploaded before I start pulling, I can get this stuff parted out pretty easily. I mean, there's only 63 pieces in the set, so it's uh, like 300 pieces total. So anyway, uh, that is what I'm going to get to right now. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you. Hello. So this is a quick video. I finished pulling the parts, but I realized I was running short on time because I have I would like to bring them to him tonight for the meeting tonight. Uh, and so, yeah, this is the parts right here. Uh, two bags of used, one bag of new. And we're going to get these off to him. I also have to get to the post office, which is kind of why I have to be in a hurry. But yeah, this is what the 3,700 parts looks like. And most of it was just basic parts, like here's some 2x3 plates, some 2x4 bricks, 1x2 bricks, 2x2 plates smaller plates there are a few connector pieces and stuff and some plant pieces and there's a couple of printed tiles but nothing really special at all just a lot of basic stuff but he's probably resupplying so that is what i've got going on at the moment and we're going to get off to the post office and then off to the meeting so thank you very much hello i expect this to be the last clip for the vlog uh, i did show that that order was packed and i had to rush out of here i just made it to the post office had a couple minutes to spare Luckily, I'm very close to the post office, so that helps. Um, and then after that, or before that, as I was waiting for the order to show up in Brick Freedom, I quickly went and I parted out that set. Uh, where did I put the empty box? Oh, here's the empty boxes. This friend set, the donut shop, that I picked up on clearance for $5. Uh, and the parted out set is right over here. Uh, it's in basically four trays. But this last tray here is just the instructions and the minifigure parts. So there's, and this one has just the yellow and white pieces in it. And then all the other colors are up here. Uh, so this is pretty much ready to get put away. Uh, more than half of these lots will be new, which is really cool. And I'm getting ready, getting ready to start dealing with that. I also had another order come in not that long ago. Uh, but I'm not going to get too terribly stressed about it. It's not a lot of money, so I don't expect it to be a lot of pieces. Uh, but we'll take a look at it, and then we'll see if maybe another order comes in at some point. We'll maybe pick two orders at once, because it's a little more efficient than going through the store multiple times. But uh, any video for that, or for putting those parts away, will be in the next vlog, because I want to get this one spliced together, uploaded, and ready to go for tomorrow's viewing, which will be the 26th of March. In any case, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I appreciate getting all of those. And uh, we'll see you in the next vlog. Thank you.